What's going on everyone? Alex De Silva, happy as Larry Group. I hope you are well. Good morning. How's it going? How's life? How do you feel? How was your weekend? Let me know. I know it's early, but check in. Let me know what's going on. Listen, I wanted to have a chat with, with, with everyone today. Just, I know that there's been a lot on the news going on with, you know, what we can and we can't do. And I've seen a lot of the reactions and it's been really, really interesting to see how, you know, people have reacted to, to what's been happening. And Lucy and I have been talking as well and I've just been sort of just listening and watching and, and paying attention. So I wanted to do this video because I, I, we were talking this morning and, and, it, and, and it occurred to me, you know, that we have to take responsibility. We have to take responsibility for everything we do. That's where the line ends. That's all we have responsibility for. Excuse me, Ruby's playing with her little toys and, and watching her, her videos. So it's so important for us to understand, of course, I have responsibility for Ruby. You know, I've got, you know, responsibility for, <clears throat> for my kids. That's the responsibility I have. And as an adult, if I'm just responsible, if I don't have responsibility for, for children or, you know, uh, I have responsibility for me. And the reason I wanted to mention that is because I see this uproar of you know people are this and people are that and then you know people start name calling and all of a sudden you know it starts to create uproar and then everybody else jumps in as well and says yeah you're right and then and then all of a sudden it's just this ball of negative energy it's incredible now i've seen a few pictures of whether they're real pictures or, or not of you know the weekend was really hot so there was people out you know in, in london and different places and there were various pictures popping up and my comment to that was, well, if you are the person taking the picture, you're just as guilty as they are because you are also at the scene of the crime. So trying to create problems, it's almost like, you know, you're just kind of stirring a pot, like two kids in the playground are having a bit of a disagreement and you're the one in the background going, yeah, he cussed your mum. Oh, you know, he said this. Oh, he said that. You know, shouting from the background, like just trying to stir the negative pot more and more and more. You know, the, the negative, the other thing that I took notice of what's been going on is people didn't start taking pictures of other people on the underground. Again, if you're at the scene of the crime, you're just as guilty as they are. Why are you there? Again, whether that's a real picture or not, I don't know. But there is always a, a reason. There is always a cause. And I see people, you know, posting and cursing and, and causing problems. Now, here's the thing, and this is where I want you to listen. Do you even take a second... Because I had to do that this morning. Do you take a second to think, man, I wonder why these people have to go to work? What's pressuring them enough that they have to go to work? Do they have ill parents? Do they have kids that they need to feed? Are they the only people that are breadwinners for that household? Do we know whether these people, you know, whether they are getting loans and grants? They have access to, to, to money that can keep them at home. Do we know that their job allows them to work from home? And this is what makes me laugh because I haven't seen one person comment, do you know what, if these are you know, the, the, the factory workers, the people that can't work from home, I'd much rather see a caption above those pictures saying, do you know what, I hope you're all safe. And I hope you're all well. And do you know what? I'm actually going to say a little prayer for you all that you don't catch this virus, that if you're having to go to work, I pray that you stay safe. Because social distancing, if you don't have a choice, if you don't have a car, if you can't cycle, if you can't get on a train, or sorry, if you can't get to work by other means and you have to use the train, the tube, the bus, then I'm going to pray that these people stay safe. I haven't seen one post say that. Not one post. And this is what I'm trying to, you know, I want to highlight this. Because it seems that we highlight so many negative things that we're constantly telling people how stupid, idiotic, you're morons, you're effing this and you're that. But no one's actually sat back. I guarantee, I know for a fact, 
because your posts wouldn't shout that. If you are responsible enough to think, God, why are these people, you know, why do they have to, to put themselves at that point? There's got to be a reason. And you have to understand another thing, whether it is money, the money is going to be there because they have that responsibility for someone else. If you have responsibility for someone else, you don't have a choice. I am so blessed that I get to do these videos every morning and I have my daughter here. You know, I got to see, you know, Maddie at the weekend. Brandon's still keeping himself a little bit safe, so we never got to see him. But I'm so blessed that I get to do that. I got to see my daughter, you know, and hopefully I'll get to see my son. It's my mum's birthday today. Happy birthday, mum. I hope you're well. I'm going to call you after this. I just didn't want to wake you up. But... You know, yesterday was my auntie's birthday and we miss being around family. So this is affecting all of us. So think, take responsibility for your thoughts. Take responsibility for your action. Take responsibilities for the things that are coming out of your mouth. You know, before you do anything like that, think about what you're doing. That's a huge lesson for me. Even Lucy said it this morning. She stopped and she went... Sorry to interrupt you, but wow, like that's a completely different view. You, I was literally tunnel visioned. If I had been watching this a few years back, I'd be doing exactly the same. So I'm not standing up in my pedestal saying oh, I'm better than you or, you know, I'm coming from a personal place too of understanding that, you know, listen, we can all change. Everything changes and we have to also understand and be mindful that We've been under quarantine for, you know, two months and we've also been fed continuously, you know, different methods and different ways of keeping people in fear, you know, and keeping people worried and, and scared. And it is a scary situation because it's an unknown situation. Nothing's really changed much since, you know, slowly things are starting to, to change, but the effects that it's had on us now, it's... It's scary. It's really, really scary because now people don't want to leave their homes. Before, it was hilarious that nobody wanted to quarantine. Now people were so fearful that they don't want to leave their homes. Now, here's again, you have to take personal responsibility. That's all you can do. What other people decide to do is none of our business. You know, it's none of our business. What we can do instead is to step back a little bit and just be mindful and try to understand, man, why are they doing this? There's got to be a reason. And that's what I was thinking about it this morning. I shared it with Lucy. Maybe these people have to go to work. Have we thought about that? You know, maybe they have families to feed. Maybe there is somebody who's sick, you know, and they have to provide. Maybe they can't access grants. Maybe they haven't been put on furlough. Maybe they can't access, you know, um, uh, you know, the, uh, the benefits, because I guarantee there's going to be a huge backlog, you know, and some of these people want to work for a living. They don't want to take off the government. You know, they don't want to put any more pressure. Have we thought that way? Is anybody, I haven't seen anybody think that way. I haven't seen anybody even say that. And to actually say, Do you know what, let's make sure these people are protected. Let's come together and send out those that positive energy to those people that have to go to work, to those people who, who are working class and they have to go to work because they don't work in an office, they don't work behind a desk, they don't work with a computer. The work that they do is manual. Has anybody thought of that? And that's the scariest part is that no one's put any thought or any blessings or, or any positive energy out there for those people that are still having to, to put themselves at risk. Just to make sure that we're living, just to make sure that there's food, just to make sure that manufacturing still continues to manufacture the things that we need every day. And I, wanna, and I don't want this to make you feel guilty. I want, you to, I want this to lift you. So the things that you're doing, that you're putting in your life every morning, I want that to uplift you and I want that to, to, you know, to help you to change that mindset. Stop calling people names and remember, take responsibility for your actions. Take responsibility for you and just be accountable to you. People can do whatever they want. But remember, think about possibly the reasons why. Not everybody are going to do things, you know, irresponsibly. Not people are just going to go out the door, you know, and put themselves at risk for no reason. Some people might. 
It just is what it is. But you remember, you have to just keep yourself safe. So do that today. Send out those positive vibes. Pray for those people who, who, who are having to go to work because they have no other choice. They have families to feed. They are not on furlough. They cannot get benefits. Think about those people that just want to earn a living. They just want to do something positive for their families. They just want to support. They just want to help us. Think about them today. And listen, have an amazing day, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. And as always, be great, be fantastic, and be absolutely phenomenal today. Today's a double one, so I'm going to do another video later. And listen, you guys are phenomenal. Thank you for liking, for sharing, for leaving your comments. And listen, let's continue to send positive vibes, you know, to help people to, to keep pushing forward, you know, and uh, yeah, let's keep this world running. Let's make this place an even better place. I'll speak to you again very soon. Take care.